Welcome back, everyone. I know it's been a while. Let's pick back up where we left off and continue on with this uh, detailing episode. So here you're looking at a couple of things. The uh, black bottle on the left is my coolant reservoir relocate. The square box here, bottle reservoir, is for brake fluid. And you can kind of tell that it's quite low. Um, on this side, I've got an issue where the car overheats and I'm losing coolant. Um, 
It seems like that at least. Uh, car hasn't been driven all that much and there's you know several factors that kind of affect that um, but those may be things that could be big or maybe small problems but anyway uh, the plan is to address and isolate whether I have a stuck open or stuck closed thermostat uh, and all that whole system is kind of down there right in that area so you can see my upper right ear hose all that is pretty much legit and normal and working as is uh, no tears no leaks anything like that um, but there's a good chance that the uh, thermostat is stuck closed, stuck closed or stuck open. So we're gonna give that a test and see, you know, what's happening. Um, if it is one or the other, we can address it accordingly. Another thing that happens is that uh, the fan switch. There's basically a sensor on the fan uh, that goes bad over time. You know, again, the car's been sitting in all kinds of temperatures, lightly driven, not consistently driven. So some things could be off. Uh, but the rest of the cooling system has been pretty much checked and we're not seeing any leaks or any faulty sensors of, of the sort. Um, so that's where we're going to get started on what might be happening. Uh, as far as the brake reservoir being low, um, I suspect the slave cylinder for the clutch has the issue because it is original. And I do remember years ago when we kind of did this whole rebuild, um, that boot on it seemed to be torn. We were able to get it inserted and we were just getting the build done. And, you know, it was a little more lazier back then. <laughs> so uh, it's a good chance that that's the culprit. Um, I have a brand new one. So uh, the plan is to, you know, bleed the system, pull that old one out, install the new one, bleed it, you know, make sure there's no air leaks, uh, air pockets or anything like that. Uh, and then legitimately those two things would be huge issues that I've needed to address on this car for some time uh, that I'll finally have gotten a chance to take care of. So. Uh, stay tuned. There's a lot on this list, but uh, you know I'm excited to get into all these things, and I hope that uh, you know I can get some of these things cleared out and resolved, so I can just drive this thing again. All right. Um, anyway, hope everyone's doing well. And again, let's uh, get into it. All right, y'all. So you're looking here at the uh, breather valve uh, facing the uh, air intake elbow. Uh, it's a real big point of uh, smoking and. Uh, running rich you know so carbon buildup and what have you um, 42 draft designs used to or probably perhaps still makes a uh, elbow like the one you see here um, that will allow me to keep that connected in between the systems and so you know it was easy to go ahead and run this thing but you know it's hard to see right now all that much but uh this thing doesn't help all that much this is a much better more permanent solution um, so we're going to be installing that uh, right here basically and that's going to stop you know a little bit of all that uh, carbon buildup that i'm experiencing um, so a little thing that i've been meaning to take care of among the long list of things that i need to do anyway uh, but i want to go ahead and get that done so that's one thing off the list all right she's running good again no coolant leaks Just a couple of loose wires. A new cap now. Fans kicked on. go y'all but hey progress is progress how's it going y'all so a little bit of an update here uh, she's still kind of where we last left off but a few things have been addressed somewhat <laughs> anyway it's ongoing so here she is uh, a bit cleaner with a little bit of a detailing Throw some new shoes on that definitely need some air. Uh, <laughs> fix the window gap, which was a bit of a task, but now I can definitely do with it in the future or if it ever was an issue. Basically, just really need to be really need to finesse the glass onto the track of the regulator. And uh, anyway, uh, the roof didn't work out. 
tried and clearly it did not work very well. I didn't bother with the front area at all, just left it as is. And pretty much the back there looked just like that. Um, I got a few opinions from a few of my friends and a couple of my uh, auto detailing buddies and everyone agrees that really the best bet here would be to repaint. Uh, I've owned this car forever and what you're seeing is its original paint. So I think after 21 years <laughs> of ownership, if it's time to repaint something, even the whole car at that, um, I'm okay with that, you know, or if I can, let's say, get away with the roof and, you know, the bumper tops here, uh, great. But from a few feet away, it's still really hard to tell when it's actually clean. Right now, it's a little bit layered in pollen and, uh, anyway, project car, you know, takes time. It doesn't stay looking the same very long, hopefully, and, uh, you know, we make progress. Under the hood, we took care of a couple things. Started cleaning up again a little bit. Uh, I no longer have the losing coolant issue. Um, I needed to close the loop on this setup and it was at one point, but one of those components, which is a temporary solution was, you know, kind of not there. So anyway, that's, that's no longer issue. Uh, I am still going to tear down, uh, the coolant system just a little bit to get this to become a one piece hose, just to make it cleaner and more efficient. And anyway, it's uh, a long time since I've replaced the, uh, uh, the thermostat uh, and you can get the low temperature ones that come on sooner and you know what have you uh, and you know it's one of those things while I'm in there I might as well uh, and in general it's just a nice thing to do if you haven't driven a car in a long time which I have not uh, and anyway so there's some components there there's a cover I have to kind of clean up the way it looks here just want it to be a little bit better the long-term plan is to replace the heater core which I absolutely need to do as you can see one of the ports is broken I just have it capped off so this car doesn't have heat and it didn't really matter but I figure a little bit of functionality wouldn't be bad you know um, so yeah got the uh, PCV uh, system closed up a little bit better uh, hasn't really leaked this much definitely no smoking anymore so I think this uh, is, was a good thing to do but you know long-term plans for this I'm not really sure yet some of this might change and me need to re redo those things anyway. Uh, but yeah. It's different when you're back in front of it and s starting to get back into everything it needs and everything you have to uh, address. But um, hey, it's the name of the game, you know? And uh, I just love, I just love being able to own and work on and learn and kind of grow with these things, you know? This thing's been a long has a long history in my, my life and uh, everything and, you know, been a part of the family, if you will. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm sure a lot of you, uh, you know, probably share the same enthusiasm um, and maybe have the same experience or same kind of story. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, I know so many uh, members of this community, as I like to call it, right? We're all a big family, a big community. Uh, we share so much. I've met so many people through this. And um, truth be told, this is the one main car that has kind of my you know, longest history with my ownership of cars and just, you know, having multiple cool cars, you know. Um, but yeah, a um, lot going on uh, in life in general, but just, you know, with with this stuff as well, you know, the plans change and, uh, you know, you got to kind of make adjustments and make sacrifices and uh, need to think about what the next phase is here. But uh, I do hope to just keep working on getting this thing uh more road worthy let's just call it that right um so that i you know i can take it to more shows you know in general it's just been kind of hidden for a while and i want to come bring it back out and you know be be active in the community in that way again um and yeah you know uh just want to get back to the roots of it and uh you know enjoy it for what it is so i look forward to seeing you guys in person um trying to hit hound this year uh, that's for uh, uh, 
Alpine Vagfair, Euro Tripper. Great experience. You know, we went for the first time last year. You know, uh, it was really great. Um, twins, everybody came along, you know, and uh, got some. My good buddy Sean came down there. You know, I met, met a lot of people I uh, haven't seen in years. So it was a real, real, like, just rewarding experience, you know. Great to see so, so many people in person, see all the cars in person again. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that again and more frequently. Um, you know, our our little projects here, our little passion projects, if you will, they are constantly evolving, and uh, it's hard to determine what its final form will be, but got to enjoy the ride. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much it. Um, so as you can see, got my hands full, but we're definitely making progress. Um, stay tuned. You're going to see a few more updates around not only the GTI, but the Beamer and just the rest of the uh, uh, new age build set up here. So should be some nice stuff coming up soon. Uh, don't forget glass transparency in the description you'll see a couple of links uh, feel free to use them so you can get a discount on their amazing products uh, we also are going to be offering um, products in wholesale so uh, look out for that in the near future um, you know if you guys haven't tried it yet or have any questions feel free to reach out love the products uh, the team and everyone there is such a great help um, they really know their stuff when it comes to detailing cars and uh, you know, you can shop in confidence. So anyway, uh, see you guys next time in the next video, hopefully soon. Stay safe, take care, and have fun. Peace.